Hi everybody. I decided to do this one live because I just want to bake. Sorry y'all, I'm just getting my baking apron. Yep, you're getting no makeup, hair in a bun. But you know what? I want to bake and I want to just see y'all. So, if you want to hop on, that's great. Hey, Alyssa! So, I know a lot of you won't be able to watch this until I get it taken care of, but I went on to tasty.com, pulled a recipe because I have these bananas that are getting ripe. So, I just wanted to make some banana bread because I'm hungry for it. I made some lemon bread the other day, which was phenomenal. And so I should have had everything ready. But you know what? I'm a fly by the seat of my pants kind of girl. So let's see here. I need some soda. I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon in it because I like cinnamon too. What I have is the bananas in the pan already. And I'm just going to do this the old fashioned way and just talk. So. All right. See you later, Alyssa. Love you. All right. So I need the butter. So it's three ripe bananas, a third of a cup of butter melted. I've melted it most of the way, but it'll be okay. And the next thing I need is a half a cup of sugar. So I'll just get my sugar out here. And I'll be posting it later for everybody to see. So. Half a cup of sugar. I've preheated my oven to 350. And so it says, add the bananas and mash until smooth, which I've done. Add in the melted butter, which I've done. And then just go ahead and stir it up a little bit. So. And I'm just stirring that and then so I have a half a cup of sugar which it calls for. It calls for one egg. I hope everybody is having a good day. And I know most of you are gonna to have to watch it later, which is fine. And see y'all, this is why I don't do lives. It just makes me more nervous. So, okay, so the bananas are mixed up. I'm going to put one egg in here. I'm going to put the sugar, the egg, and it does call for one teaspoon of vanilla. So I have my nice little pampered chef little measuring spoon here, teaspoon of vanilla, one egg, a teaspoon of baking soda, teaspoon of baking soda. It says salt to taste. So in most of the recipes I see call for anywhere between a half a teaspoon and a teaspoon. So we'll just do about a half a teaspoon of salt. I always thought it was weird putting salt in to stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna stir this really quick. While I get my flour ready. Okay. Nice. 
calls for two cups of flour. Let me make sure I have my recipe here. A cup and a half of flour, sorry. So I'll put a cup and a half, and a half of flour. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Fargo. It is, some say 39, some say 40. Um, my clock, my phone says 45. So, you know, we'll go with 45. Okay, the batter has to be smooth. And I am gonna put in just a tab of cinnamon. Because I saw recipes for cinnamon, I'm not gonna put very much in like a quarter of a teaspoon. So I put in a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And because I'm old school, it says to butter your pan. So yeah, if you don't like getting your fingers messy, and I did wash my hands before I started all this. If you don't want to get your hands messy, just Go ahead and use a paper towel with some butter. That'll work. And in my jug here I have some vinegar and Dawn dish soap and water. It just seems to cut it, because of the Dawn it seems to cut the butter easier. So, all right, and this is getting mixed pretty good. And now I'm gonna go over here and use my other and wash it real good while this is feeding. All right, y'all. We're just about ready to put this bad boy in the oven. And I am going to stir in some chocolate chips because I just happen to have some in my cupboard. I think. If not, I have some more. So... Chocolate chips is the one thing I do always have on hand, just because I use chocolate chips a lot. There we go. No chocolate chocolate chips. And I'll put in about a half a cup. And I don't measure, I just dump. As I said in one of my other videos, I just dump, it just seems easier. All right, so that is all done. Again, my oven is at 350. If you want the recipe, the full recipe, just let me know. Again, I got it off of tasty.com and I just put my own little spin on it, which y'all know I do. So I'm just that kind of a girl. All right, so there's the batter. And so we're just going to go ahead and dump it in. And I did butter the pan. This pan is a Rachel Ray pan that I got, boy, maybe five or six years ago when we still lived in Grand Forks. And just because I like the way the handles are on it, because it has a silicone on the handles here. So, all right, let me wash my hands just again. It says bake for 50 minutes at 350. So that's what I'm going to do. Earlier, if you saw my post, I did my version of zucchini lasagna, which is awesome. And it was really awesome. So now I need some fun stuff. So, and it calls for just a little bit of chocolate chips on the top. And this is to get the air bubbles out if there are any. All right, so here it is, ready to go into the oven. I love you all. God bless you. Have a wonderful and fantastic weekend. On Monday, I am going to be doing No Bake Cookies by Lillian Johnson. And so have a good evening, and I love you all. Bye.